Hey everybody, Ken Surfs here. We're in the Shave Den and we are about to try two razors to take off my goatee. I had originally intended on taking off the goatee with an open comb razor. And then some people were emailing me saying, hey, why don't you just use an aggressive razor and see how that works. So I got my two choices, the open comb, or the uh, aggressive, and I thought, why don't I try both? So what I intend to do today, you've seen uh, this razor before. This is a, a timeless razor, and this time I have, as you see, an open comb. And actually, it's marked there on the side. It's uh, got a gap of 68, and it's a smooth cap, open comb, whoops, ready to receive the blade. And I'm also gonna try, it's timeless razor again, this time the handle's a little bigger. I've got a different configuration. You can see the handle's a little bigger. I was gonna be swapping caps and doing this and that. And this, this, this shave would never have got finished. But this is a scalloped cap with a scallop base, but it's got a pretty good gap. There we go. 95, and you can see NT5, whereas this one is 6.8. So I'm gonna be using these two razors today. And what I'll do is I'll shave half my face and half the goatee with one razor, half my face and half it with the other. And then the one I like better, is I don't wanna cut my upper lip, because I always do, I'll use the one I like the best, that suits me the best, to take off the mustache and then we'll be clean shaved. So it's gonna be these two razors today. I'm gonna to be using a uh, Simpson Chubby in faux ebony. So I've got the Simpson Chubby and it's a synthetic bristle. I'll be using this today. I'm gonna to put this into the crystal skull right now. Get it kind of soaking, kind of have too much water in there. There we go. Got it soaking in the crystal skull. I'm gonna be using Wilkinson Sword Gillette Blades and Seaforth Heather Soap on this. Topping off with, uh, it's still available in Aftershave Balm, Sauvage by Dior. And I really like the Sauvage uh, Cologne, so we'll be using this today. So, this video is definitely gonna run a little longer. So for you new people, uh, welcome. Uh, Appreciate your subscriptions. Uh, please, you know, subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate it. And for you returning viewers, let's hope I don't bloody myself up, but it's for your entertainment. Okay, so we're gonna load the scalloped cap, scalloped base plate first. Let me take this off here. That's the base plate. There's the cap. I'm gonna get the uh, Wilkinson Sword Gillette here. I have uh, a lot of familiarity with this blade and usually the quality control is really good on it. So I, I know if I was using the same blade with different razors, it would be a more accurate test, but hey, you know, we're, we're just here to entertain. All right. Whew. Let's put that on. I've had my uh, Diet Coke, so I'm fairly caffeinated. <laughs> Get my uh, Big Gulp Diet Coke from the 7-Eleven. All right. Whoop. There we go. So you can see the blade there. You can see it. That one's ready to rock. All right. Now with the smooth cap, open comb. Generally, I like to use an open comb to take this off or a Mular 41, sometimes a slanted razor. They're a little sharper than usual, but this open, this wider gap has intrigued me and I thought I would give it a try. I didn't want to do two shaves, so I figured we'll do two razors, one shave. All right, that's the open comb base plate. That's the cap. Let's lo load up this blade. Hope you guys have been doing good. Hope you had a good Tuesday. Hope everything is going well. It's windy as heck again. So my allergies are pretty much done, but the wind does bother them. And anybody who has allergies knows what I'm talking about. 
Okay. And I am using the gasket on here, the uh, little synthetic washer. There is a very slight blade overlap on that. See that? Very slight. It's not flush, but I like that because I can hold the blade and handle the blade a little easier. On the scalloped one, very slight. You can see it there too. That's ready to rock. All right. And these are unscripted. So if I goof on something, you're seeing it live. Well, recorded, but I'm not editing it. So you'll see what happens. All right. Now, it's going to make a mess. When you're shaving off a goatee or a beard, it's going to make a very mess. Normally, normal people, let's say, would probably use an electric razor to knock this down and then use the DE razor. I'm using the DE razor to knock this down. I've got my uh, little bowl of water here because all that, I don't want the beard, I've clogged my sink so many times. I uh, use this uh, to uh, rinse the razors off and then I just flush it. All right. Let's get the uh, oh, Seaforth Heather. Use this before. You've seen it. It's a really good, uh, it's a good artisan's shave soap. And I'm using it for a special occasion here today. All right. Let's wet the face, shall we? All right. And I would usually use maybe a, a pre-shave, but today... I'm just gonna go with it. Hopefully I don't start sneezing. Let's get that lather built up a little bit. I think this is the first time I'm using this Simpson brush. I'm a big, big, big fan of the Simpson brushes. And I've had this goatee long enough. Got a good scent. I thought for a minute I'd leave the mustache. I thought, yeah, hey, I'll leave the mustache for a while, but then I figured I'd look like Ted Lasso, so I'm gonna doggone fruit fly or something flying around in here. We have some oranges we left out for a while, and that attracted the fruit flies. Okay. I have an orange tree, so. I like having fresh squeezed orange juice. Soap is very slick. There's no rhyme or reason to this. I'm gonna start with the open comb, shorter handle, to do the left side. Let's see how she does. Very smooth. Very smooth. Here's the test. Here we go. <laughs> One stroke, basically. Nice. Look at that. Ugh. Let's get rid of that. Open comb feels good. If you guys have a problem spot, my problem spot's right there. I often cut myself right there. So one pass. I gotta remember, this is the right side. Okay, one pass, took that down pretty good. Now let's try the aggressive scalloped. Yeah, I can feel it's a little more aggressive. I can definitely feel it. Still very smooth. Not quite all off in one pass. But fear not. And like I said, 
Most people wouldn't be using a DE razor to knock down a beard or a goatee. They would knock it down with something else first. I'm really stiffening the angle up. Do you see this? If I get more blade exposure. All right. On short stubble, this feels fantastic. Hear the feedback? The chin is shaved. All right. Well, right off the bat, this is good on shorter stubble, but I'm gonna use the open comb to take off the mustache. Let's do that right now. Look at that. Right off. I'm going to finish up with the open comb. I needed to know. Maybe you needed to know too. No, I guess in full fairness, I uh, probably should finish with both so I can feel how the smoothness. All right scalloped aggressive. Now, it's almost, yeah, there's no feedback now. That first pass took everything off almost. All right, let's try it anyway. Oh, look, see, I'm getting clogs of hair. I fill that bowl. All right, let's see here. Got a little nick there. Oh, it's a pimple. That's why it nicked. Okay. This old man still gets pimples or irritations. Let's see. All right, here we go. Oh, man. I'm holding my hand steady because I don't want to cut my lip. If you've ever cut your lip, you know, it's a pain in the ass for that thing to heal. All right, let me get some of the soap off of here and do some fresh water here. Hey, I know that dude. It's been a while. Well, little little touch up there. The slim cap or this cap really gets under the nose. There we go. There we go. Man, I didn't cut myself here. One nick tearing off a beard with. Well, the winner for me for this blade 
razor combo, this skin combo has been the open comb 0.68 gap. It knocked it down. Now this is very, very smooth too, very smooth, but the scalloped did not handle the longer growth, the longer, and I, I you know, some of you guys been in one day, man, you got full, full beards, I don't. And gross, gross. Let's get rid of this right now. I won't flush it because that thing will take forever. All right, some Sauvage Dior, a gift from my daughter for my birthday. Oh, it's a pump. All right. No burn. Oh, but very soothing, very smooth. Very good. That turned out better than I thought. I really thought this was going to be a mess. It turned out very good. Dang. All right. Open comb for me. And you know what? I do miss the burn. So let's hit some of this. Oh. oh there we go. Well, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I do appreciate your subscriptions. If you're a returning shaver and returning to the channel, thank you for returning. And I do look forward to, I've got some new products from Elvado to try out an upcoming shave. I've got some other new items, but it's nice to be clean shaven again. One nick, I'll take it. Look forward to seeing you all again very, very soon. Stay healthy. No allergies, right? No allergies. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.